Good evening and welcome to Community of the Savior's Lenten Compline service for this week. We have about two more minutes before we begin our time of prayer together. There's a printed order of service available on the link on the screen before you, and you may wish to have a candle ready for the proclamation of the light that begins near the start of the service. We'll have a time of prayer and intercessory prayer this evening, and if you would like to have special prayers remembered in that prayer, please use the chat function for sharing intercessions. Simply go to the chat feature at the bottom of your screen and chat to hosts and panelists, and we will do our best to see all of those as they come in. If indeed we miss some because of the delay in receiving those, we will be sure to pray for each of those during the week as we remember them in our prayers. So now please relax and be comfortable, and we'll begin in about two minutes. Good evening. Thank you for participating in tonight's Lenten Compline service at COS. As we begin, I just want to share a few features of this uh, webinar service with you tonight. The service is meant to encourage your full participation through singing, responding, and listening, and most of all, to open yourself to the presence of God as we pray together. Once again, just a reminder to use the chat function feature. Uh, chatting to hosts and panelists to type in your own prayer needs for our time of intercessory prayer, and we will do our best to remember those. And uh, there may be, because of the time delay, the possibility that some of those may get missed, but we will pray for those during the week as you share those intercessions. So now as we begin, let us take a moment to place ourselves quietly in the presence and loving care of God as we pray tonight.
O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Beloved, we are come together in the presence of Almighty God and of the whole company of heaven to offer unto God through our Lord Jesus Christ our worship and praise and thanksgiving, to make confession of our sins, to pray as well for others as for ourselves, that we may know more truly the greatness of God's love and show forth in our lives the fruits of his grace, and to ask on behalf of all people such things as their well-being requires. Let us therefore bow in silence and remember God's presence with us now. Will you join in the confession? Gracious God, you have given us the law of Moses and the teaching of Jesus to direct us in the way of life. You offer us your Holy Spirit so that we can be born to new life as your children. Yet, O oh God, we confess that the ways of death have a strong attraction and that we often succumb to their lure. Give us the vision, courage, and obedience to nurture life that we might receive your blessing. Amen. Hear this assurance. The God who challenges us is also the God who encourages us. The God who confronts us is also the God who accepts us. Be assured that God is with us even now, accepting guiding, and forgiving. Amen. For tonight's hymn, we will once again sing a Taze piece accompanied by a recording of COS musicians who gathered in the sanctuary to record together. Uh, this song will go on for about four and a half minutes as Taze songs are intended to be sung repetitively so that the music and the words um, become part of your prayer and you can go beyond studying the music and allow it to just be part of your prayer time. Uh, the words are printed in both English and Latin. You may sing either or both and as it goes on I will occasionally move from the melody to a harmony part. You may do what you want during those singing times and allow yourself to also have times of just listening.
We pray Psalm 72, the reign of the Messiah, beginning with the antiphon. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon falls. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow, like raindrops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust, the kings of Tarshish and the sea coast shall pay him tribute, the kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon falls. Psalm 72, the reign of the Messiah, part two. All the peoples of the earth will be blessed in him. For he shall save the poor when they cry and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. From oppression, he will rescue their lives. To him, their blood is dear. Long may he live. May the gold of Sheba be given to him. They shall pray for him without ceasing and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May people flourish in the cities like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. All the peoples of the earth will be blessed in him. And now Psalm 134, Prayer at Nighttime, a pilgrimage song. Come, let us bless the Lord. O come, bless the Lord, all you who serve the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of God. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord through the night. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us bless the Lord. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Come to him a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in scripture, See, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you, then, who believe, he is precious, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner. 
and a stone that makes them stumble and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's take a moment now to allow God's word to resonate deep within our own hearts and our lives as we enfold into ourselves what God has said to us through Scripture. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. O God, I call to you, come to me now. O hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Keep watch within me, Lord. Deep in my heart may the light of your love be burning bright. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. All praise to the God of all, Creator of life, all praised be to Christ and the Spirit of love. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. As we go now into a time of prayers and intercessions, let us join together our hearts in prayer. We give you our praise and thanks, O God, 
for all gifts of love we have received from you and for your persistent mercy in Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for whatever we have accomplished by your grace that is pleasing to you. We thank you for the faithful witness of your people. We thank you for the example of righteousness we see in parents and teachers. We thank you for the innocence and openness we see in children. And we thank you for all works of Christian compassion. We give you our cares and concerns, O oh God, because we know you are kind and care for your children in every circumstance. Especially we pray for those who struggle with doubt and despair. People afflicted with disease. Those called to special ministries. Those who are neglected or abused. And now we bring before you the names of people in our own community, in our own families, our friends, our loved ones, people who need an extra measure of your grace and your presence. We remember especially Bob Schuin as he recovers from oral surgery and all others who are recovering from recent surgeries, those dealing with chronic illnesses, and those who are undergoing continuing treatments for cancer. Lord, for all those whose names and faces you bring to our mind now, we place them in your loving care, and we ask that you would bring your strength and healing. We pray for Lynn and Jane Brabant, and their family as they mourn the loss of Lynn's mother. Give them traveling mercies as they go out to Iowa. Be with them and all those who mourn this evening. Be near to the brokenhearted in their grief and grant them your peace. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen.
Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Amen. Favor these our dwellings, O Lord, with your holy presence. Far from us repulse all the wiles of Satan. May your angels live here and keep us in peace. And may your blessing remain always upon us. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.